name is Francia I and I am a volunteer for Husky Haven of Florida. In this video, we're going to explain a little bit about our application process. Our dogs can be found on websites such as Adopt a Pet, Pet Finder, Rescue Me, and most importantly, our website. Our website has the most up-to-date information on each and every single one of our dogs, along with their name, their age, their weight, if they're good with dogs, if they're good with cats, if they're good with children. It also has a cute little story on how they became part of Husky Haven of Florida and about their personalities. So you go to our website and you found one, two, or maybe several dogs that you're interested in. What do you do next? You apply online. Please note this whole process takes a while, around two to three weeks because we take a very detailed approach to each and every single one of the applications. We're also all volunteers, so just please be a little patient. When you apply online, the application usually takes anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, so you can process it completely online. It basically has several different questions about you and your family and what type of dog you're looking for. It'll give us a better idea of the type of um, dog that you want based on energy, personality, and so on. So let's begin with the application. It is very important that you answer each and every single question as best as you can, as as truthful as you can. This will only help us help you. So let's begin. One of the most important parts of your application is your vet reference. Basically, it's when we call your vet and ask them several questions. No, you do not need to have previously owned or currently owned a pet in order to adopt from us. However, if you have previously owned a pet or currently owned a pet, we're going to ask your vet the following questions. Please make sure that you have their name, their phone number, and their address so that we can contact them. One of the first questions that we ask your, your vet is if your pet is seen at least annually. The second question is if your pet is on flea and tick prevention. The third question is if your pet is on heartworm prevention. And the fourth question is if they consider you a good pet owner. If all of these questions have been answered in a satisfactory manner, great, we go to the next step. However, if any of these questions have been answered negatively, unfortunately, we will deny your application and that's where it ends. Once we go to the next step is your personal references. Your application online will ask you to please fill in three different people that can give us references about you. They cannot be your spouse or your parents or your siblings. They have to be from maybe a coworker or an acquaintance or somebody that can give us a better idea about you. Please, please, please let them know to expect the phone call from Husky Haven of Florida and that we will just ask them a couple of questions about you. Many times we find that we call them and they don't return our phone calls. Many times this delays an application anywhere from one to maybe two or even three weeks because they had no idea to give us a call back even though after we left the message because they, they may think that it's something that they don't want to answer. So just please let them know to give us a call back. Then let's say your vet references pass and your personal references pass. What is the next step? The next step is that we will call you and do the phone interview. This is a little chat that you will have with one of our volunteers that is processing your application and it will just give us an idea of how much time you want to spend outdoor with the dog and what type of dog you're looking for. This can last anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes and it's usually the time where we get to know each other a little bit more and have answer any questions that you may have. So everything goes well, what is the next step? The next step is that we will call one of our volunteers that will call you and set up a time and a date for a home check. And basically the home check is when they will go to your home and see where the dog will eat, where the dog will sleep. And if you have a, fe a gate, a fenced in yard, they will go to the yard and take a look at the fence and make sure that there's nothing that needs to be addressed prior for, for us to adopting a dog from you. So, the volunteer that does the home check will call us and say, hey, the home is great, this needs to be fixed, or this needs to be addressed prior to the meet and greet. What is the next step? The volunteer that has been processing your application will call you and talk about which dogs are available at the time. If you have discussed one or a couple of dogs that you're interested in, we will then put you in contact with the foster. The foster will call you and you can ask as many questions as you want regarding that particular dog. Many times we find that with this conversation, you already have your eyes set on a, on a dog and you would like to do the meet and greet. So if everything goes well, the foster will call us then and say, hey, we think that this is a good fit or we don't think that this dog might do well because of this and this. You will also have the opportunity to let us know if this dog that you have been talking to the foster is a good fit or not. So what do we do next? 
we do the meet and greet. Now we can do this two ways. If you already have been talking to the foster and you think that this is a dog that you would like to adopt, we will send you prior to the meet and greet the contract for you to sign and send us back along with payment instructions. So you can go and meet this dog and if everything goes well, you can adopt the dog on the spot. However, if you're not really sure that this is a dog that you would like to adopt, we can schedule two meet and greets. The only problem with that is, is that somebody else might be looking at this dog and might adopt them prior to the second meet and greet. So just please be mindful of that. We hope that this video has answered any questions that you may have, and if you're still interested, please go ahead and apply online. If you have any questions, please send us an email. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope that you become part of the Husky Haven of Florida family. Thank you.